Hi artist and welcome back to Art While Apart with me, Miss H. This week we're going to learn about value and how to create value with color. So value is an element of design. So it's an ingredient that we use in our artwork to make things look interesting and to just add some different qualities. So value is the range of lightness to darkness. And there's lots of ways that we can create value. What we're gonna focus on today are two types of ways. We're going to focus on tints and shades. We'll learn about tones later in the year. So if you were looking at this sphere right here, it is drawn with values to show the lightness and darkness. So it's like I have a sun and the sun is giving light and it's shining right here. That's because it's really light in value. And then this part that is away from the sun is really dark in value. So when we add these values, it creates the illusion that it is a 3D shape, but really it's just a 2D shape that we drew, but we added value to it. Down here is a value scale. So again, it shows the range from lightness to darkness. And let's move down a little bit more. So, in my next video, I'm going to show you more ways that we can create tints. But the most important thing is that we take a color or a hue. When you hear the word hue, it's just a fancy way of saying color. So hue means color. Do it with me. Hue means color. Okay, good. So the hue I chose is red. I added white and that created a lighter value of red, which is pink. Pink is actually just a light value of red. Did you know that? Well, now you do. So if I add white to a hue or a color, I create a tint. If I add, instead of white, I add the opposite in the value scale, I add black, so I take a hue, I add black, I create a darker value of that color or hue. So here you can see I had red, I add black, and now I have like a real dark and kind of like gray looking red. That is a shade of red that I created. To help us remember the difference between tints and shades, here's a little trick that I use. Tint you can hear the T at the end, tint. And then when I say the word white, the last sound that I hear is the T towards the end. So I like to think tint white. If I hear the T, I know that tint means I add white. Okay, try it with me. Say tint white, your turn. Good, let's do one more. Tint, white, your turn. Awesome, good job. Okay, a trick to remember shades. Well, if I put on a pair of shades or sunglasses, everything gets darker. So when I add black to a hue or a color, I create a darker value. So think that I put shades on something, and it becomes darker. Okay, now I want you to go to the next video to learn a little bit more about how to create values with colors.